and the APD union president in trouble again. The state board that licenses police officers has now called out Albuquerque Police Union Chief Stephanie Lopez for an incident that the department suspended her for last year. And it's not the first time that Officer Lopez has been disciplined for misbehavior on the job. News 13's Jose Mitri is live at APB headquarters tonight. Jose. Dick Lopez has been suspended at least three times over the past three years. While Albuquerque Police Union President Stephanie Lopez sat at a table with the mayor yesterday to sign a new contract, the New Mexico Law Enforcement Academy Board was calling her name to answer to the way she handled a domestic violence call last year. Number 18, Stephanie Lopez. Ms. Lopez, are you here? An attorney showed up on her behalf as the LEA gave her a letter of caution, saying Lopez went to a home for a domestic violence call last year and stayed even after learning it involved her friend and fellow officer Chris Cordova. He was accused of choking his girlfriend. New 13 has learned Lopez was trying to talk the victim out of pressing charges against Cordova. It's a case APD is already familiar with. Records show she wrote up four versions of her police report, eventually eliminating the part where she called a commander not involved in the investigation just to tell him about Cordova's arrest. Lopez's final report claimed the woman said Cordova was not choking her, but another officer on scene noted the woman described him choking her and saying something about her dying. Former Chief Ray Schultz gave Lopez a two-week suspension. The year before that, Lopez got a 16-hour suspension for not reporting when she got into a car crash at 98th and Tower. A man went to the police station the next day saying Lopez rear-ended him at a red light. In 2011, Chief Schultz suspended Lopez for two weeks for an incident with a local TV reporter. Lopez took the reporter's camera when citing her for criminal trespassing, but never tagged it into evidence. And when it was returned, it was missing video of the confrontation. We've been trying to reach Lopez for months. She did not sit down with us for an interview. Back to you. Okay, Lizay, we also contacted APD to discuss Lopez's disciplinary history, but the department declined comment.